Dan's boots by the end of the day are about 12 pounds a piece. So his calves by the end of this video are gonna be swole. So what do you think of this bridge detail, Jack? I love it. This project is turning out amazing. I really like using the all this granite. Like just using a full granite pond is super nice. We've done granite ponds that are on a much smaller scale. And if we did use granite, it wasn't just a full granite pond. So it's gonna look really nice. What's up everybody? We are back. I think it's day six or so since we started back on this project. We have made some serious progress the last couple days. You can see behind me we have both of our bridge pieces set. The one with the strap on it is kind of dry set right now. It's where we want it to be but we need to set a frame rock on the near side closest to us to really kind of frame out that bridge. So we left the strap on it so that we can get that big rock set. Then build a wall using this architectural stone underneath. Act as a footer or a pedestal for that bridge stone to sit on so that we get it nice and structurally sound. So we're going to kind of dry set it there, leave it, get our frame rock set up, and then go ahead and lift up that bridge piece, build our wall, and then put the bridge stone back down exactly where we want it. But we want to use that stone as our placeholder right now so we know exactly where to fit that rock in. You can see we have three inch plumbing that is ran to our pump vault back over there. That's going to be fed by a five to nine pump that will feed the wetland filter that will be back over here. So again, making good progress. It's a sloppy, muddy mess, but that's okay, because we're working through it, charging our way through it. Dan's boots by the end of the day are about 12 pounds a piece. So his calves by the end of this video are gonna be swole. I don't know, wish us luck today, because we're gonna need it. So this is that frame rock right here that is going to frame out the bridge where Dan is at. So we're gonna go ahead and lift that piece up and then build our wall underneath. And then the waterfall stream area will actually come into the pond in this little cove area. So we still have to dig that out a little bit and obviously get some more rocks. But you can see we've got the elevation of that rock. It's a couple inches higher than the bridge piece, which will really funnel people over the bridge. And it just looks really, really nice being so low profile. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this bridge piece out, set it out to the side, build our wall, backfill with gravel, and then set that piece back down. We'll get it in a second. Go ahead and pull it out of here, Jay. Okay, so here's that wall that we built. Now we are bringing the Bridgestone piece back in and we're gonna go ahead and reset it and just make sure that everything's good You can see we've got a pile of gravel here. That was all the backfill behind this wall. I think we're good. Bring it in, baby End of the day, it's been a successful day. We got most of the intake bay done. We started building our retaining wall on the back side of the biofalls on the pathway side. We got our second half of the bridge set. Jack's been playing in the mud all day. He's super excited, so he's a grown up now. Why are you grown up? So Jack is doing it right. I am. He's been saving up. Save your money. For four years working at Aquascape. He's an adult now. Last night he went out and bought his very first dig boy truck. That's right. But no, we're proud of him because he's working hard. He's moving up. He's kicking butt and taking names. 
Yeah, so watch out. So what do you think of this bridge detail, Jack? I love it. This project is turning out amazing. Like, I don't know if I've said in the earlier videos, but I really like using the all this granite. Like, just using a full granite pond is super nice. We've done granite ponds that are on a much smaller scale, and if we did use granite, it was with either moss rock or sandstone or um, weather limestone. It wasn't just a full granite pond, so it's gonna look really nice. But going back to the bridge, I really like these two stones because you're gonna have just this water rushing through here, and especially with all the draw that you're coming into this intake bay, you're really gonna get a lot of pull from the surface area coming into this intake bay. So it's gonna be really nice because I mean, water line sitting right at this white mark right here, that's pretty much water line through this entire pond. It's gonna look really cool because this is one of three crossings of water. So this is the middle one. You're gonna have another one sitting right where the machine's at. So that's gonna be more of like a stepping stones kind of interacting type of stream look. It's probably gonna look a little bit like this, but the gaps are gonna be a little bit wider. But then if you pan over to that side over there, we haven't even touched that area. That's where our wetland and spheres are gonna sit. And that's where another set of stepping stones are gonna be at going from the patio that they have over there. There's a cover over their fireplace right now, but that's where their patio is gonna be at. And then you're gonna cross over and then that pathway is gonna take you back to either outside the yard or back to the patio. It's coming along and uh, unfortunately, uh, we're not gonna be able to finish this one this year considering weather for next week. So Wednesday now, so we're probably gonna be out here Thursday and Friday. And then unfortunately, it's pretty much gonna be the wrap for this year and then we'll be back out in the springtime. We managed to get some decent weather today. We are at the second to last day out here for the season. But one thing I wanted to point out to you is we noticed some comments in, in some of our previous videos about rock placement and that kind of stuff. And I wanted to point out while there's no water in here, working with some of this granite, which we very commonly use, some of the different techniques that we employ when we're putting together ponds. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and kind of do some finger pointing and that kind of stuff and just show you what goes through our, our heads, through the design and the build process as we're going. And then if you have any more questions, please, please let us know in the comment section below and we will hope to elaborate and answer those to the best of our abilities. So one of the main objectives for this project was to allow the customers to get in and interact with their water features. So you'll notice that we have a lot of this granite, which is normally a very round stone, like you see here, it's just very rounded. There's no sharp edges on it, but there can be flat surfaces on the rock itself. So notice that we used the flat sides of a lot of these rocks just as kind of destination boulders inside the pond that would be comfortable to sit on to, you know, as people are kind congregating in here and just making it easy to move in and throughout the pond. So we've got, of course, our bridge element and we have a very flat stone right here to step down on and then another flat stone about 12 inches below that. And then we've got another flat stone about six inches below that and then it's just down to the bottom. But these make very, very nice seats down in some of these deeper ponds. Also notice that nothing is really the same height all the way around. We have a couple of rocks that are very, very close in height, but we don't ever do like that pearl necklace look where it's all the rocks all the same size on all of our shelves. We try and be very diligent about kind of staggering the different heights. I was talking to Jack and Dan earlier on the project and it's almost like I see the rock in thirds, meaning I look at this rock and I want to split it vertically into thirds. So you've got one third, two thirds, and then of course the full rock itself. This rock goes up about two thirds of the rock as at the same level, right? This one does about the same and then tapers down. And then you have, of course, this 
big boulder right here that is still not the same height but I kind of look at it in thirds and when I am placing rocks I will either place them at the third level the two-thirds level or above the rock or putting it taller than the rock that we placed obviously there's some exception and we want to make this be as fluid as possible but I just wanted to show you some of the rock work another thing that I really wanted to point out was the joints of the rocks you'll notice that like for instance there's this rock right here now this rock had a very rounded side and we really couldn't get anything back behind it because of where we placed it on the shelf so what we did was we took this other large granite boulder that already had kind of this semicircle or this curved cutout on it and we nestled it up as best we could to this rock making that joint as small as possible so it's just something to paying attention to the joints paying attention to not placing rocks all the same size using different size boulders as you're placing the rocks really strengthens the overall design okay we're gonna be back at it tomorrow hopefully jack myself dan louise steve we can go ahead and finish the pond completely i want to get some water in this pond and we're gonna do something a little bit funky for the customer just to give them something to look at while we're gone for the next few months in the winter time so hopefully you enjoyed this video so far and you'll enjoy it till the very end Boot. Well, I meant to check in earlier this morning, but we are on the final day out here in this beautiful Bartlett project that is well underway. We're just looking to get as much of the pond done as we can. We're going to leave a couple areas open knowing that we are going to revisit it in the spring. But, you know, the main objective is just to get the pond as done as possible and then get everything cleaned up so that we can put it to bed for the winter. So we got a little bit of work ahead of us today, a heck of a lot of cleanup and kind of prep for the job site as well as out front on the street where we've made a little bit of a muddy mess. So that's kind of the name of the game today is just get everything ready to pack it in for the winter time so i guess let's set a couple rocks finish this pond up and then we'll start cleaning all right so jack's just finishing cleaning everything up you'll notice something unique out in the center of the pond uh, i want you guys to realize that this is a temporary thing this medium urn we dropped in in order to just give the homeowner something visual to look at enjoy the sounds of the running water and that kind of stuff until we can get back out here and revisit it in the spring but i absolutely love how it's turning out i love this backwater coat Area. We've got to add a couple more cobbles back in there, but it just turns out awesome. And then this peninsula slides back around and then that's where that stream and waterfalls is going to come in. The shape of this brick wall turned out incredible. But one thing I wanted to point out is now we can finally start to see that peekaboo action with the water. And can you only imagine fish swimming back in here into this intake bay? There will be about 18 inches of water all in through here. So the fish will be able to freely swim back and forth through the main pond. It's, it's just so awesome. It's just such a a shame that mother nature and the calendar is preventing us from getting back out here but we've got the project pretty well graded out we've got a few more items to pick up and not leave here over the winter time and just leave the job site as clean as we possibly can fortunately for us the customers are very 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 understanding and uh, super excited with the progress we made and can't wait for the continued progress in the future so hey listen it's uh the last week and a half out here has been cold it's been wet it's been windy weather's been all over the place but i really really hope you enjoyed this part of the construction process on this project unfortunately we're gonna have to cut it off here and we'll show you the reveal video and the rest of the construction process sometime next year but just wanted you guys to see it until next time thank you so much for watching chris jack dan Luis, Steve, Corey, and Brian, and Greg, and Ed, and the rest of us out here at Team Aquascape. Just want to say thank you. Have a happy holiday. If we don't catch you in the meantime, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below, and we're definitely going to get back to you. Sayonara.